Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we'll go over using File Center on the network. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to share a File Center configuration among all of your users. Now, if you've watched our cabinets tutorials, you'll have noticed a video there about sharing cabinets on the network. Now, if you've got a small network of only a few users, that's the method that we recommend. It'll work very well for you. But the problem is, what happens when we get onto a bigger network where you've got many, many, many users? Going around to each user's machine and setting up File Center for each user can take a lot of time and be very, very tedious. And then in the future, if you want to add additional cabinets, well, that becomes very, very, very burdensome. To address this situation, we've created a feature called Shared Settings, which is, simply put, a way to create a common configuration, put it on the network, and link all of your File Center users to that configuration. Your administrator will be able to add cabinets to the configuration, remove cabinets, add naming options, folder templates, uh, any of these File Center settings, and those things will automatically propagate down to all of your users, making administration very, very easy. Let's show you how this works. Now, the first thing I want to do is get my network drive organized and prepared. This is my network drive right here, the S drive. And I've already created a folder here called Shared Cabinets. Now this isn't required, but we recommend it. It's a nice way to organize a network drive. And inside of here, I have a couple of different folders that I'm going to be turning into cabinets shortly. But for now, let's go back up. And uh, I want to create another folder here to put my shared configuration in. Now here's how it works. This shared configuration is a set of file center settings which are all just various files. And we need to have a folder on the network to put these settings in. So I'm going to create a folder, and I'm going to call it Shared Settings. And again, this isn't required. You can put these shared settings anywhere. But this is a nice way to organize it. Next, I'm going to switch back to File Center, and I'm going to take a look at what we call the admin tool or the administrative tool. If you come here to the tools menu in File Center, you're going to notice two options down here. We're going to be using both of these. One of them is administer shared settings. The other is connect to shared settings, which is what you're going to use on your client machines. But for right now, let's select administer shared settings and create a configuration. Now this is what we call our admin tool, and you're going to become very familiar with this as a system administrator. We're going to create a new configuration so we click the Open button. And the first thing it does is warn us that when we create a shared configuration and put it on the network, that really needs to be in its own isolated folder. And the reason we say that is because we have some users who try to put this shared settings folder inside of a cabinet. That doesn't work at all. It needs to be in its own isolated folder, and it needs to be on the network in a place where all of your user machines can access it. So let's go ahead and say OK and click through this. And now we get to select the folder where we want to put the shared settings. And I've got this folder that I prepared in advance. We're obviously going to select that one. So I select my shared settings folder out on my network drive and say OK. Now let's take a second and orient ourselves. Notice what's happened. I now have a number of categories over here on the left. And each one of these corresponds with a type of setting that we can add to this configuration. I can add cabinets to my configuration folder templates, naming options, scanning profiles, favorites. There are even some settings and some permissions that I can set for my users. What we're going to focus on right now is cabinets. Let's add two cabinets and see how that propagates out to our users. All I need to do is click the Add button right here. And now, all of a sudden, this is very familiar if you've set up cabinets in File Center before. Exactly the same dialog. But instead of adding them to File Center, we're adding them to this common configuration. The first one I want to add is uh, that shared clients cabinet that was out on my network drive. I'm going to call it shared clients. It's a standard cabinet. And let's browse out to where that folder was. OK, I put that here in my shared cabinets folder. And it's going to be the clients folder right there. I'm going to click OK. And the rest of the settings look fine. I'll accept the defaults and click OK. Now notice what's happened. We've now added a cabinet to our list of shared cabinets. Let's quickly add one more, 
just so that we can see the effect that this is going to have. This is going to be my shared cases this time. Let's browse out. Once again, it's in my shared cabinets folder out on the network, and I called this one cases. And we'll say OK and accept the defaults and say OK. With two cabinets added in my configuration, let's now switch gears and go over to File Center and see how to bring these in. First thing I want to do is save this configuration to make sure that it gets written out to file, and then I can close it. And I'm going to close my admin tool. Now you'll notice that those cabinets aren't showing up in File Center yet. And the reason is because I haven't linked File Center to that shared configuration out on the network. And so this is now the step that you're going to need to perform on each one of your users' machines, linking File Center to the shared configuration. Now linking is very easy. Let's go back to the Tools menu again. And this time we're going to use this option, Connect to Shared Settings. I select that, and now I need to browse out to where that Shared Settings folder is out on my network drive. And there it is right there. On my S drive, I have my Shared Settings. I select that folder, and you can see there are now settings inside of that folder. And I click OK, and OK once again. Once I click OK, notice what's just happened. File Center has added those two cabinets. Now here's something important that I want you to notice. I already had one cabinet on here, which was a personal cabinet. That cabinet didn't go away. When you connect to shared settings, it adds those items in the shared configuration to your current configuration, but it doesn't replace it. Another important thing to notice, if I come to my Cabinet Manager, you'll notice that those two cabinets are marked as shared over here. What that means is I can't edit those cabinets. I can see them, but I can't edit any of the settings. Now, do note that we're talking about settings here. As far as adding drawers to the cabinets, saving files into the cabinets, actually working with the cabinets, of course I can do that. All of your users will be able to do that. Well, let's suppose that I need to make some changes to these cabinet settings. For example, let's say that my users are complaining about having the word shared on those cabinets, and they'd like it to just say cases and clients. How do I make that change? Well, it's as simple as going back into our admin tool again. I'll administer shared settings, and let's reopen that folder of shared settings. Okay, I'll select my shared settings right there. Say OK and I've reopened my settings. So I can make changes to the configuration now. And what I want to do is edit these two cabinets and change the names. Let's do that now. Okay, and let's save that change out. And as we close the admin tool, you're going to notice that those cabinets have changed names right here in the background. And in fact, let's imagine that I'm on a network where I've got 50 different users. For every one of those users, those cabinets would immediately change names. So the File Center Admin Tool really is a very simple and effective way to administer File Center configurations on your network. Next in our series of videos of File Center on the Network, We'll show you how to deploy File Center easily to all of your users.